Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you are here. My name is Heather from Heather Handmade and I love to talk about sewing. It has been kind of a cold spring and I am so excited for summer. My kids are almost out of school um, and we are going to play and have fun all summer. I probably will not have videos as regular as I have been putting them up just because my kids will be out for the summer. So I'll see how often I can check in, but I wanted to let you know about all of the stuff I have done in May and my plans for the month of June. If you remember, I had a bunch of stuff sitting right here on my table. So I had these pants. These were like, these are kind of like a waterproof um, fleece back pants that I made to use in the winter time when I walk my dog and I don't want to wear snow pants but I need like something warmer than regular pants so I did finish these I have not been I've used them once and they were great but I probably won't get to really like test them out until next winter but I'm glad they're done and they're not going to sit here and wait for me to finish them I used a pattern um, that you like put in your measurements and then it like creates the pattern for you. And I did like that. I would say most of it is pretty accurate. Um, my height measurements didn't, it was not as accurate as I expected, but it's still a great pair of pants. I will wear them a lot and I'm excited to have them when I need them in the winter time when it's really cold and I still have to go out with my dog. I also finished this shirt. If you remember, the shirt was sitting here on the table. This shirt was one that was a dolman sleeve that I love this fabric. It's like one of the first fabrics that I, when I saw it on the fabric website, I like bought it right away. Most of the time I think about a fabric for a long time and I don't buy fabrics like that fast. Anyway, I did buy this fabric, but it was probably three or four years ago. It was a long time ago. I made it into a dolman sleeve shirt with a collar and um, I loved it, except I don't love dolman sleeves and so I never wore it. And this just recently, I finally cut off the dolman sleeve, um, you know, made it like I cut, I used a pattern that had a set in sleeve for the arm side and for the sleeve. So I recut it, sewed on the sleeves, and now I think I'm going to wear this shirt all summer. It's going to get worn a lot and it was totally worth it for that simple fix because um, before I never wore it and now I will. I did plan to make some overalls this month and I did not finish, but they are cut out. They're sitting here waiting and I think it will be a pretty fast sew. So I might actually finish this. I am filming this a couple of days before the end of May and I might finish them before this video comes out. So I technically would finish it in May. Um, but I had to film the video when I had the time. So maybe um, that will be in the next video. I also bought more fabric to do this overalls pattern again, even though I haven't even like sewn them and put them on, but I think I will really love the style. So I did buy another fabric to make another one. I also made tons and tons and tons of rompers, dresses, and jumpsuits from my latest pattern that I just released. You can, today is the last day to get it on sale, 20% off, so you can go check that out. I have the link in the description. Um, I made so many and I hacked it and it was just a really fun pattern. I'm really proud of it. I love how it turned out and my kids actually choose the romper and the dresses, like the things I made them. They choose those first to wear over their other clothes, like, all the time and that makes me really happy that not only do I know that it's a good pattern and like I produce something good but that kids real will really like to wear the style so I'm really you know I'm just really proud of it it turned out really great and then my goals for the month of June is one you know be with my kids since they're out for school so it's my time that I get to be with them and enjoy them but we swim a ton and I have already um, planned with my kids. These are the fabrics they chose. Um, they, my daughters have different amounts of swimsuits. So one daughter is getting one swimsuit and one daughter is getting two swimsuits. And this is, you know, the plans. We've already like drawn out the style we want. I just have to sit down and I have to print out the pattern and 
um, sew it up. But swimsuits go really fast for me because I really enjoy sewing swimsuits. I also have plans to make swimsuits for myself. I have two fabrics that I want to use, but I have not actually like planned anything out. So um, I don't have anything to show you for that because it's not ready. But I probably, once they're done, I can show you that they're finished. And um, so I can show you what swimsuits I made for myself. If you have any, like if you want to sew swimsuits, I have a whole post all about tips for sewing swimsuit knit and like doing the elastic and all the different finishes. So you can check that out. I really love making swimsuits. It's one of my favorite things and I think that you can love it too. Now, my question for you is, do you like to sew in the summertime? Is it too hot? Is it hard if you have kids around or are you traveling too much? I want to hear about what you do in the summer if you like to sew. Do you get, like, do you start sewing your Christmas gifts, like Christmas in July, so that you get prepared for December? Or do you like to wait till last minute? Let me know in the comments. I cannot wait to talk all about sewing with you. If you can't get enough sewing, check out these playlists with beginner sewing projects and um, projects for sewing zippers. Um, and follow me on social media so we can keep the conversation going and I hope you have a wonderful day.